People on the right always talk about how America is changing, how we are losing our country, but it's something that I find not very well defined amongst the right. It's often described vaguely without any specifics of what it means for America to be destroyed or for it to be changing. It is a slow and gradual process which spans over lifetimes and generations, so it's very difficult to see unless you are specifically looking for it. And since it's such a long and gradual process, there are generations which are being born without ever knowing the start of the changes, only being able to react to the changes from the time that they were born or capable of understanding the world around them. It's also something which is incredibly hard to quantify. How do you quantify communal trust? How do you quantify cultural shifts? How do you quantify prosperity, not just economically, but prosperity of the soul, of meaning in one's life? So I'm going to tell a story. It's personal to me, to my family, to the community I grew up in, but I think it's something that is felt by every American who has been victim to the political strategies of these elite globalists. So in Quincy, Mass, there's this place called the Quincy Quarries. And before the 70s, this was like a swimming hole where kids would go and jump off cliffs or quarries into the water. So you know how it goes, right? A few too many teenagers got drunk, fell in the water, drowned, and then they, they, they paved it over. But even after that, it was still a nice little cultural hub, right? Where people would go out into the woods, drink beers, and have a nice time. And there's a tradition of this place. People would go out, they'd hang hundreds of feet over the, the, the quarry walls, and they would spray paint their name and the year that they were there onto the wall. And honestly, it was a beautiful representation of the living and thriving community around Quincy. My dad had his name on those walls in 1976, and when I put my name on that very wall in 2012, I could see his name there. It was more than just names on a wall. It was a living history. You could look and see the names of all of my dad's childhood friends on the walls, on the quarries next to him. You could see people in the 40s with their names on the walls. You could see people in the 1910s, the 1920s, who had gone gone out on strings, on ropes, and with house paint, painted their names on those walls. And in January of 2021, my father and I went back to the Quincy Quarries to look at our names from years ago, to look at the names of my cousins, of my uncles, of my grandfather on those quarries, and to look at the names of people who I've never even met before, who were in the same exact community, standing exactly where I had a hundred years before I was standing there. And it was obliterated. My dad's name from 1976 obliterated from the wall, covered up by some gang member's graffiti. A 30-foot tall Black Lives Matter graffiti covering the spot where hundreds of people had put their names over the century. Sticking out from behind some drug dealer's tag was the lead house paint which some guy in the 1920s used to write his name on the wall. A place of my people, of my community, a place of remembrance and of heritage being defiled. Because America is changing, we have been replaced. Replaced by the genocidal policies of the American left wing and the criminal malfeasance of the American right wing. We have been replaced by an alien population which has no respect for the traditional ways of America, no respect for the traditional culture of America, but rather has been taught to hate them and to feel nothing but absolute contempt for what they are replacing. And I saw them as I was standing there in shock with my father, like the relics of a past age that we are. I saw them standing there, snickering, spray painting over some graffiti with their own garbage graffiti. And they snickered, they spoke Spanish to each other, and they threw their spent spray paint bottle into the piles of trash which have accumulated litter piles around this area. Every young adult my age has heard stories from our parents about how their grandparents would chew them out the house and they'd ride bicycles up and down the neighborhood the whole day and how everyone would leave their doors unlocked because everyone knew each other's name and everyone trusted each other. They had communities of trust. But the America of our parents is dead and we, my generation is left longing for a place and a time which we never experienced. And one day the America that we, my generation, was born into will be the same fantasy utopia as we tell it to our children. America isn't changing or being destroyed on its own. It isn't dying a natural death. It is being murdered by a political elite which is either indifferent or malevolent, but all the same believes that it can profit from this death. Regardless of how you suffer, regardless of what spirit, of what dream of America is extinguished in order to bring about their selfish desire for gain, America is being changed. In this changed America, this new and tolerant, diverse and multicultural America, it has no place for you. Happy Father's Day.